Decorated, no. but we are like ninety percent there. I still have a box. Okay, you know, I still have a box to unpack to finish that, so I can pack the stuff off that's on that counter to put the tree up there because yep. I do got a couple of things I got. And we are still on the hunt for something, and we'll explain it to you here shortly. Yep. It's like right. the hunt for Red October, for those who know that movie. <laughs> All right, so you slipped out to Giant Tiger because I'm having friends over for lunch tomorrow and I wanted something. So, yes. So okay. show that first, what you got at Giant Tiger. All right, so Kelly likes her cabbage rolls. They were $7.98. We got picked up two of those. You turn them upside down. Oh, well, that's funny because it's... Mm -hmm. It's upside down. Normally, it's always yeah. the same way. So, I I could make them, but he doesn't like them, so I just buy those. I, I mean, I probably, they're not my... You know, if I was absolutely starving, it was the only thing in the house, I would eat them. I think if I uh, make some homemade ones and make him try it like I, I did... Uh, I just, I don't... I, I like cat... I like um, coleslaw. I like that. I don't like slimy cabbage cook i i'm sorry i don't that, we'll, that's all we'll i'm gonna it a, say we'll give it a try sometime. okay um, how much were they they were 7.98 i already mm, said okay that. i didn't hear okay uh kelly wanted these gross holiday bars nom, nom, nom. see see it's all both mm -hmm. on the same side there I love chocolate and mint together. Yeah. They were mm -hmm. $5.97. The milk was $3.49. And then the James, they were on sale for $7.97. So I got like one barbecue and one. I, I, I got the sweet honey, but I remember we bought them last time. I don't know if we really liked it, but. And doesn't matter. You can have the barbecue and I'll have the honey. Well, yeah. <laughs> so. There was that, and... Mm -hmm. I love it. So, was it last year? Yeah, last year, a friend of ours... It was Dorothy. But was it Dorothy? Was. Yes, Dorothy. Bought one for... It was at Walmart. At Walmart, and I went, and they didn't have any. So I had to settle with what they want, but we got this one. This one's going in the bathroom. Yay. Because the whole theme in our bathroom is the red truck. Yes. And we have a red truck mat out here, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so It is time for Advent. Yes. So let's get on to the... T Actually, I'm going to slide these over because one of the Advents this year is for Mr. Brody. So, I can explain that one. Well, there's not much explaining. It's an Advent calendar mm -hmm. for doggies. And it was on sale. I got it from PetSmart. It was on sale for 10, 10 bucks. bucks. Regular, I think, 25 Something yeah, like that. Something like that. And the only reason I knew about it was because our friend Carolyn yep. had ordered one. Do I got a knife or something? Um, and she ordered it online for pickup. So it's funny, is. I didn't know how many they would have, so I ordered my on, online for pickup too. Cost no extra to do that. Yeah. And that way you guarantee you're going to get it. Oh, it's in order. You don't even have to oh, search. Oh, look at that. It's in order. So, Brody. Okay. Brody. So, we are oh, going to. Oh, do you want to get rid of your computer? Yeah. Why? Well, I, oh, I don't know. Just... So, Brody, this is a special treat that you get all this month. Yo, oh, look at that. Did he ever jump at that? Oh my goodness, buddy. Oh. Should, should I give it to you? Can we see it first? It's a little bone. Oh, look at that, buddy. Oh, he sniffs that. Ooh. Oh. 
Okay, you'll get one again tomorrow, okay? Yeah. Just one today. All right. Okay. Last year, matter of fact, I know the date because I went and looked. Yeah. December the 30th. We ordered an advent calendar like we had did that last year. year. Yeah. Okay, that had some ornaments. For our tree that For was our on our tree counter. That on our counter. And we put it in a safe place so that we could find it. Yeah. We have no idea where it is. I've looked. I've looked in our cupboards. I've looked down in our china cabinet. I've looked upstairs in our two spare bedrooms. And I've looked in our Christmas stuff. Uh, I look, I just, I don't know where it is. There's a small possibility it got mixed up with some of Kelly's craft stuff. We don't know. But I know one thing, that once Christmas is done this year, I guarantee we'll find it. <laughs> yep. So we did buy another one though. Yes. So here, I'll let you. So we got this one. And it's a storybook set. And so each day I'll go in and get the right number, which is one. one right here. And then, and we'll read it. And once we get the tree up, because see, it's not up yet. Um, we will. I, I think you. I just don't want to because they fall out. Okay. So anyways, I will read the little story each day until the And these will go on night the tree. Of the 24th. Then what I'm going to do is. When we package it all back up, I'm going to gift it to Dorothy so she can use it with her littles next year. So, all right, book number one, Holy Land. And it says, nearly 2,000 years ago on the sun-washed land between Jordan River and the Mediterranean Sea, a miraculous story was about to unfold, a story so glorious that to this day we call this land the Holy Land. During this time, most of the people lived in small towns or villages such as Nazarene, Bethlehem, or Java. They were herders, farmers, craftspeople who worked hard but rested on the Sabbath and gave thanks to God. All right, that's day one. We'll come back tomorrow for day two. Christmas lights are all around. I can see them now.